Actually, AK Optic Midnight, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I got the Seraph skin in Blackout and a couple tips on how to do it uh, in a clean way, I guess. It's a really popular challenge that's going down right now on Blackout, I believe, because uh, the new skins that just came out, there's skins in the game for the characters that you unlock through the Black Ops Pass, and then also... Um, there's a couple contracts you can do for individual skins, which is a really sick Seraph one right now. So I think a lot of people are just really trying to unlock this character in Blackout so they can differentiate themselves from other people and look cool. That's why I wanted to do it anyway. And I subjected myself to it while it was really popular. So if nobody else was like doing the challenge, it'd probably be pretty easy to do. But the fact that a lot of people are trying to do it at the same time makes it a little complicated. And I'm about to share why. So what you have to do to unlock Seraph in Blackout is find the Annihilator get a kill with it, and then place top five. It's actually not too difficult of a challenge in and of itself. However, the Annihilator is not found like on the floor with all the other loot. It can be found, I believe, in those little like supply drop crates or the crates that come down the middle of the map from the airplane during the game. I believe it can be found in there, but those the, the odds of that happening are super, super low. Like you better go play Lotto if that happens to you because you're lucky. There is a way to summon the Annihilator to the map in firing range though, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And that is what everybody, well, I shouldn't say everybody. That's what a lot of folks are doing. I did it in solos. Maybe it's easier in duos or squads, but I did it in solos. So the way that you summon the Annihilator to the map is there's a green box on the shelf or bench or whatever you want to say of the six target firing range in firing range I know that's a lot of firing ranges the only problem is that box is only there about 40% of the time I'm definitely not drifter maybe the percentage is different but that's the stat that I just made up in my head it was there less than half of the times that I drop you'll know that it'll be possible to get the annihilator if the green box is on the shelf and if there's a sixth white target in the range what you have to do is you have to shoot those six targets with a very specific weapon. The weapon we need is the Mozu. It's the revolver looking weapon. It's really, a, it's a great weapon. Um, it can be easily found. It's just a pistol. So it can be found all over the floor or you could loot it off somebody. Recommend dropping firing range for this challenge. Definitely because so many other people are trying to do it. I believe it can only be done once per game. Don't hate me if I'm wrong, but I'm like pretty positive once the box is open and the annihilator is gone. Nobody else can access it or take it. So what I would do if I were you is land firing range, loot up kind of close to that little six person range and um, you know, kind of hang out, feel it out a little bit, kill some people, stay alive, get looted up and then go check if the green box is there. If it's there, either kill people or camp it out or find a mozu, take your mozu and shoot the six targets that are on the scene there. I actually had the box open up uh, after just shooting two targets, but you can shoot all six of them. I've seen the box open up after that as well. After you do that, take the Annihilator and get the frick out of there. Every time I got it, I dipped out. Um, there were a couple games where I had the Annihilator and just wasn't able to get a kill with it. Um, it's not too easy to get a kill with. It is not like a one-shot weapon like it is in multiplayer. It takes two to three shots uh, from like close to medium range, I found, uh, with it. And after you get a kill with the Annihilator, you just have to place top five. And a lot of people like gas crawl to place uh, far into the game. I took an opposite strategy. I decided to plant myself in the middle of the safe zone. It was not glamorous. I was chilling in a one stall room. Not my finest moment. I literally never play like that, but I had failed. I'd had a couple ridiculous fails. I had one on my stream the other night where I had the annihilator. I was trying to get a kill with it and I was, I was being shot at. So I was trying to like heal. And I go into a, a literally a random room and the guy was in a corner like you can't trust anybody. You can't trust any part of the map. But like it was a little bit of karma, I guess, that I did the same strategy when I was trying to win my game. And yeah, that's about it, guys. That's the tips I have. Maybe try to use a stun or something like that. Really get an up close fight when you do have the annihilator to get that kill. Um, I wouldn't try to like fight somebody long range with the gun. It is not a single shot like it is in multiplayer. It's not super easy to use. Um, and like I said, land firing range, kind of land away from that six target range and um, like loot up a little bit. I like the, I think it's a green rooftop with two big holes in it, kind of close by. They always have good loot there and sometimes a chest even spawns in there. 
Uh, so yeah, that's about it, man. If you guys want any more videos of uh, how to unlock the other specialists in Blackout, or if there's any other difficult ones you'd want to see me try and do and share with you guys how I did them, I'd love to see it down in the comment section below. Please like the video. I appreciate it. Also, subscribe if you want to see future videos. And I live stream almost every single day, so you guys should come hang out with me there. I'm much more active on Twitch, so follow the stream as well. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.